guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Rant. As always, this is Uljin. So we're here on the Hypermind server again. I find myself drawn to here um, pretty regularly just due to the fact of the ease of getting stuff accomplished. I really don't know where I'm at. I marked this thing um, a little in haste the other day when I was making a video, and uh, this is a pretty weird place, but it has some cool blocks. That's probably why I... Um, I marked it where I was, but anyway, we need to get down to the ground, and really and truly, my whole pack isn't loading correctly, guys. Ever since we updated the server, I don't know if it's Optifine, or if it's the mod pack, or what, but, um, so just pardon the frame rates, we'll, um, we'll try to get around them. So today's rant, guys, is pretty darn simple. I, um, I got fired up a while ago when I was cooking supper, and, uh, the wife and I were talking, and... You know, if she comes home on a regular basis, and she works very hard for her money, my ma my wife has um, a fantastic work ethic, just like unbelievable, really, really just strong worker, somebody that you really want on the team. And you know, when you have good people in your life like that, professionally, personally, whatever, um, taking advantage of them is always going to be wrong, no matter what. And that includes not backing them up when you know that they have justified stuff. What is all that oil? So she's in the place of um, uh, what they call a department head. Um, it's like a, um, I don't know, she's a department manager. But regardless of what she does, she has a position of leadership, or at least it's, um, at least it's proposed leadership. It's, it's more of a more accountability than she would have as um, someone that isn't in leadership. And she has a, a weak employee. And when I tell y'all weak, I'm talking about the troublemaking yeah. kind, you know. I should have brought my soul shorts, but I didn't think about it. Um, the troublemaking kind. Somebody that's always calling into work, that's always complaining, that's always negative, that makes everybody's life miserable uh, while they're uh, around. You know, um, just a real pain to be around and especially to work with. Now, you all know people like that get run off. You know, most of the time uh, they'll either quit or they'll do something stupid to get themselves fired. That's a weird looking bird. Um, but in this case, guys, um, human resources and management uh, really have zero backbone. I, I laugh all the time. There's a little song like, uh, I ain't got no backbone or something. It's some sort of a, a hip hop song, dance song. I don't know, a pop song. I don't know what it is, but I'm always singing that when she tells me about um, what they got away with uh, yesterday and the day before and uh, and all of this stuff. I mean, just like number of absences that are just ridiculous. Like when I'm telling you, like leaves early, like probably a hundred days during the year. I'm not exaggerating. It's it's ridiculous that and just calls in all the time. Has I guess has a doctor on the payroll. I don't know how they pay their bills with somebody that misses work that much, but. Um, that's just the way that the system is. It allows people to manipulate it and just get away with murder, which is which is ridiculous. I mean, you got people that work really hard for their money. Um, I'm not one to talk about that because I'm not at a job right now, but most of the time when I am at work, I do what I'm supposed to do, you know, and, and so do, well, so do anybody with, with reasonable work ethics. Uh, but I am just sick and tired of people getting away with murder like that. Like, I worked, I don't know, I'm, I'm 35 years old right now, right? And I've been working since I'm 16. And I may, I don't know if I'll have a job by the time I do because I still got vacation pay and stuff that's going to wash off. But I may end up having to collect a little bit of unemployment. Now, you're talking about $250 per uh, I guess per week, which is around a thousand bucks per month. It's a little bit less than 250, I believe, over here. But anyway, it's a thousand bucks a month uh, before taxes, I believe. So I might walk away with a few, you know, with probably a few thousand dollars if I stay unemployed two months, which would be absurd to think about. There's too many jobs out there for me not to get selected for one that I actually like. But anyway, if I get uh, any unemployment money at all, I have been paying. My taxes and working since I was 16. Um, I put myself through school. I paid unnecessary fees. I've been without benefits and had to pay for my own health care for a long time. Um, I've done what I'm supposed to do ever since I was a kid. Uh, you know, never went to jail. Never, well, never spent any time in jail. <laughs> um, 
uh, never hurt anybody, never killed anybody, never molested a kid, never raped a woman, never did, never, never did anything I was supposed to not do, you know, um, you know, e except for the mischievous things. But my point is, you know, you go through life doing everything that you're supposed to do, and it's not that I'm expecting any favors or demands, but you know, I, I fight with things like. I, I, I fight with the fact of being guilty over stuff like collecting unemployment and you know and then you got these people that are going to work and collecting a paycheck and just milking the hell out of the system and you got managers that are making even more money than them that are allowing them to destroy the work ethics and the morals of people like my wife that go to work to do a good thing now my wife is a happy-go-lucky person it doesn't usually get to her every once in a while but it gets to me hearing this because I know it's frustrating and of course it is you got you got this negative force in your life that you have to deal with and you know you're doing everything that you're supposed to do and this force just keeps resurfacing and no matter how you know that it's warranted for anything that you have you're supposed to have to do to these people like discipline them how in the world can you do that with a management team that didn't back you up? That's that's corporate fluff. I, I really hate it. You know, it's just like all the answers on these job mm. interviews and stuff and these, these, these questions mm. that I was talking to you all about the other day. Mm. Going mm. to work and, you know, you get paid mm. and have more job sustainability mm. for, excuse my French, but kiss and ass than you do for actually doing hard work. You know, you got... All of this stuff about this corporate jargon, like they want you to say different things on your uh, evaluations and um, plans of action based on performance and all of these silly, silly things. And they just want you to say what they want to hear. That's the culture that they want to get from their employees. And it's some of it's just so stupid. How about I'm going to show up to work. I'm going to do my best. And I want you to give me praise when I do do what I'm supposed to do and not give me a hard time when I'm doing stuff that I'm supposed to do and just the same thing if there is something wrong I want you to take care of it that's the deal I show up to work and do what I'm supposed to do and you show up to work and do what you're supposed to do as a manager you're supposed to manage you know that's just my two cents on the deal I really hope my next job doesn't have that uh, problem with it um, Outside of the negative stuff, guys, actually making decent progress on the job hunt. Still haven't gotten any interviews, but put in a few applications to some pretty good places. Um, I got a hold of my pay stubs, which was actually a really big challenge. When you get separated from a company and you own electronic deposits or direct deposits, uh, you don't necessarily receive a, receive a stub, and I don't have access to corporate intranet anymore. So, and I needed that for those that government paperwork that I got to file for unemployment. So. Uh, it's a little, it was a little disturbing, but um, I actually called the Human Resources Department and they had an external link to be able to get to it. Um, had some trouble with my Internet Explorer because through an all these job sites, I, um, I went to some websites that I wasn't familiar with and my Google Chrome browser is now, um, well, it's screwed. It's, it's bad. There's all kind of toolbars on it that I don't know how to adjust. I'm not a real big Chrome user. I've been using Internet Explorer. I know it's an inferior one, but um, I, I know it and I'm familiar with it. So that's just what I'm used to working with. Um, in case you guys didn't realize, I am down in the forest looking for um, pretty much anything and everything with spawners. And I'm going to book them. I have a bunch of books in my, um, in my inventory. I'm just going to... Um, pretty much save locations where spawners are for um, the, you'll you'll hear why in the next couple episodes on Hypermine. Um, but a uh, few of the guys and I have a um, a plan working. So anyway, um, but yeah, and another thing is I have been taking you guys' advice to heart, and I want y'all to know the support that y'all have given me on these rant videos and just in general on YouTube is 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 really something, you guys. This um, this. Uh, I think it was Matt Man, and I, dude, I cannot even, uh, I can't even begin to express how, um, how much I enjoy your comments and your undying uh, presence on the, um, on my viewers list, dude. It, you're always on there, and a lot of you are like that. Matt just put a comment. He said something like, um, you know, use this time to build yourself up. And uh, man, I, I can't even begin to say, dude, I, I went running with it. I have been taking on, oh, here's some spawners. I have been taking on a lot of um, tutorials on pretty much everything I can get my hands on. 
Um, I'm probably going to do Adobe Illustrator uh, really, really soon. Uh, right now, I'm still working with After Effects, which I've um, come to understand, uh, have a greater understanding of the entire thing. Um, oh, phone going off. It's probably a comment or something like that. I did a video editing tutorial just a little while ago, so I've been getting some um, some stuff from that. Uh, but yeah, that's another uh, thing that I've been doing is the tutorials around video editing. I thought that was um, it'd be a pretty good niche to follow, and it's something I enjoy doing. And if uh, I know there's a lot of YouTubers um, that people that put videos out that watch my videos um, that like that sort of thing too, so. And I enjoy it. I wonder if there's anything down here. Uh, let's see. What's all this? A golden apple. Yeah, we can take that. Yeah. So some of these chests are um, have pretty good stuff in them. Lock logic matrix planners. A cobweb. That's interesting. Um, I know you can get them right now. I think I just haven't been around. But all these um, we're going to be collecting sooner or later. All these spawns. I already have pumpkin seeds, melon seeds. Yeah. I already have all this stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, just uh, building myself up, getting, um, educating myself, you guys, instead of just sitting around playing this game all day. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been playing a little bit, you know, um, trying to break up the monotony, but for the most part, I, 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 I play when I get off, you know, when I, when I finish looking for jobs and when I finish doing my stuff. I just cooked my wife and I a fantastic dish. Uh, went and get some shrimp and some um, some Alfredo stuff and made a shrimp Alfredo and I mixed in some spinach and I put uh, some herbs and spices in it, just doctored it up a little bit and wow, talk about come out amazing. Um, I do like to cook a lot, not something that I would consider doing professionally because cooks work sucky hours. <laughs> they really do and just like anything else that you're real passionate about, uh, if you do it too much uh, under uh, lock and key or under pressure, uh, what typically ends up happening is that you get tired of it or uh, you lose your passion for it. And I really don't want to. Cooking is, uh, I don't want anybody to complain about the food I feed them. I like, I like the, uh, the current setup that I have now. Feed people that want my food, that enjoy my food. I already know that they're going to like it. I'm going to get compliments for it. And um, I know it's bad before they know it's bad. So <laughs> I get to not feed it to them, you know. But anyway, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's rant. Um, uh, I did have a couple other topics in mind. You guys keep the topics coming. I'd love to talk about what y'all want to hear about. Um, wow, this is pretty cool. Uh, somebody had mentioned cursing in public. <laughs> I could talk a little bit about that. I've been getting some comments on um, some cursing lately, too. And um, that might be something you guys want to hear about. It's a pretty short subject, but I can combine it with a few other things. Um, other than that, guys, um, same old story. If y'all hear about any job openings in my area, let me know. I would love to uh, to explore those um, so I don't have to go work at Walmart for a living. <laughs> at any rate, guys, y'all take care. It was a pleasure speaking with y'all, and I'll see y'all later. This is Sujin signing off. Have a good one.